So I was looking at a video that I just posted on Facebook ages ago where I, would talk, I was talking about my experience with contraceptives. And I just remembered I all the feelings, all the feelings came back. And this particular contraceptive was a complete nightmare. So after I had my, my daughter, I was asked, you know, what contraceptive I would like, because I wasn't ready to have any more children at the time. And um, so basically, I said I would go for, I was going to go for the Mirena. I missed that appointment. So then I went for the implant. Thought no big deal. The implant was going to, it went in my arm. I, went, I booked my appointment and I put it in my arm. No biggie. For the first like couple of weeks, like so first month or so, it was like I didn't see my period. And considering how painful my period could be, I was just like, all right, bye. So I didn't, so I didn't, wasn't really bothered about that. Hmm. Little did I know that Wahalod was coming. So the Wahalod that came was when I would come, when my period eventually came, it wasn't stopping. I was literally, I would be on my period, say, the best of three weeks out of four. I was in my period constantly, it felt like, and I was low in energy. I just was just like, I felt like I was fighting for my life. It was horrible. And eventually, like initially I was thinking, okay, it, you know, they told me that it could take some time for your body to adjust. But eight months down the line, I realized that, nah, this is not for me. So I went back to the clinic and asked them to remove it. Told the, the nurse what had been happening. She was like, yeah, it sounds like your body is rejecting it. <sighs> My body rejected that thing, man. And once I took it out, I was like, Ooh, I was free. I eventually got the Mirena and that worked for me and I was fine. But um, that was a nightmare. I felt like the best part of a year was just spent feeling really crappy and being constantly in my period. But I like to say a long shoot. That's why you know I am an advocate of if you're not feeling great, if something is causing you to feel some kind of way, speak up and speak out. Do not allow, oh, you know, I'm okay, I'll be fine. If it's after a couple of weeks, I should have, I should have taken it out sooner and I didn't. That's one thing I regret. But what I do thank God for was eventually I did. I, you know, I listened to my body and I took that ish out. It was gone. So listen to your body, guys. If your body is telling you that, I don't like this. I ain't feeling this. This is not feeling good. Take it out. After like, if your body's telling you this consistently, at least for like a month, then listen to your body. You know, they might tell you to wait a bit longer. They like give it max six weeks. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a physician. But if it just doesn't feel right, it's okay to add, you know, to just be like, you know what, I need this out of my body because it doesn't have to be there anyway. So, yeah. That was my experience. What a bloody nightmare. All right. I'm off out. See you guys later.